Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We are on the final day before Raikou event starts. And I'm going to go ahead and apologize now. If I seem a little tired or a little low energy today, I got home late. I went out of town last night for or yesterday for my birthday celebration. Got back way late. Woke up about the same time I normally do, maybe a little later. And uh, yeah, still not quite awake yet. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We're gonna grab our experience and everything for the Pokemon. We're gonna grab 903 sneaky snacking. And also tonight is the first night of good sleep day. Again, now is the time to use your incense, both growth or not both, growth, focus, luck, and friend incense are all good to use during good sleep day. However, if you only have one or two that you're gonna use, make sure to save them for tomorrow. And honestly, even if you've got a couple, you may wanna wait and save them until tomorrow night or the night after for the Ryko event. It's probably gonna be better used there, but it's entirely up to you. Just wanted to make you aware that now's the time for those incense. And we also have missions for the using seven incense for the Ryko anyway, if that's in week one. I forgot to look again to see if it was week one or week two, but just be aware that it is somewhere in there. And let's go ahead and grab our sleep points. We have 98 of them, which puts us at 3,986. Yes. I can do some math apparently <laughs> and let's grab our daily lottery Ryko bundles also now available uh, so if you're gonna pick up any of those now is the time but for our lottery we only got a small dream cluster Ooh, not what we want to see but it will definitely be put to good use at some point didn't even get a full night's sleep only a 98 yikes well let's jump into this sleep report let's see how good it actually was I feel like I slept pretty hard. I was pretty worn out after spending all day on my feet yesterday. <laughs> uh, eight hours, 22 minutes. Yeah, 138. I did wake up at 10 a.m. That is correct. 138, about right. 16% dozing, 54% snoozing, which is good. We do want snoozing type still. We still want snoozing with 30% slumbering. So let's see. <laughs> dozing, okay. Well, the game is determined to not give me an Eevee this week. So let's see what we got. It doesn't look like we got eight spawns. We did get it in a top belly and a three star. I would like two spawns though. 25.3 million is not bad at all. Not bad considering we haven't really been focusing on anything. I didn't feed any. I didn't do lunch or dinner yesterday. Um, let's see. We may do a... Eh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do a breakfast or not. We'll have to see what our ingredients are at. Uh, it looks like no new sleep types. Sleep styles, I mean. Uh, we did get a bell sprout, a caterpie, a primate, another bell sprout, a manky, another manky, and a gulpin. So, out of all that, hmm. What, what would I even want to catch out of that? I think it's between the Mankeys and the Bellsprout. Just because those are helpful on Lapis. Uh, probably the Mankey, honestly. I feel like Bellsprout, we have a really solid one. Whereas for the Mankeys, we have an okay one. But I don't believe it has Berry Finder. I think it is, I think it's only really good because it has Helping Speed S and Helping Speed M at level 10 and 25. So let's try to see if we can get a berry finder Mankey. That would be really nice. No big hit, which of course means that unfortunately we're not taking anything home with us today either because we're saving these biscuits. It would be nice if you could roll over just one bonus biscuit to the next day. And if you don't use it the next day, then it's gone. That way you could have two bonus biscuits. You're like, ah, nothing really showed up here today that's really good. Let me go ahead and save that bonus biscuit. Probably goes against the spirit of the game, but it would be nice. I would appreciate it. The other unfortunate part, and this is something I wanted to mention uh, going forward, but actually I'd, let me go ahead and do it now because otherwise I'll probably forget. Uh, when you're sending out your photo for sleep uh, for your community reports today, try to pick an electric type. I'm not 100% sure that there is uh, going to be a big bonus, but I think there's maybe a better chance of getting a Ryko main. I saw, let me read what I saw. Uh, I was saying that sending out electric type 
sleep style photos could yield more mains for your friends. So I don't know if that's confirmed. If I'm just, I've just brain hold that information. Maybe we did get that confirmed somewhere and I just don't remember it. But uh, yeah, send out electric photos today if you can, just to try to help your friends get more mains. Unfortunately, I don't have any electrics to send out. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna send out what I can. Also with the community reports, if you're used to collecting your reports multiple times throughout the day, you may want to hold off and not collect them until tomorrow morning just to get as many uh, reports as possible first thing because you will have a, a chance of getting Ryko mains. And that way you can do it early in the morning and just try to get as many as possible and possibly even get a few extra just by saving them until tomorrow that you wouldn't have gotten uh, normally throughout the week. We did get 1,359 research XP and 2,087 dream shards, which is not bad. Not bad for the slow week we've had, the kind of chilled week, <laughs> really chill compared to <laughs> the last time. Uh, but let's see, it looks like we have some new news. We do update content, so oh, okay, so that is different. Let's see, what do we got then? What's coming up? This update includes the following improvement. You will need to update to the latest version through your app store bug fixes. Nice. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> at least they let us know, but I was hoping it was going to be something a little more uh, juicy than just bug fixes. But all right, well, at least we know they're working on the game. That's always good. I'm never going to be upset about that. And then for the community reports, I'm going to go ahead and collect them now because I do already just only collect them once a day. So you guys see the only time I ever collect friend reports is on camera for the videos. So I'm I'm not going to run out of, or I'm not going to lose out on any community reports. But like I said, if you're used to collecting them multiple times throughout the day, maybe just hold off and just collect them first thing in the morning. But we did get 46 reports with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 that doubled up out of, what was it, 46? So a little shy of the 25%, but not too bad. Hey, JD001, level 5, there we go, just in time. Literally coming in in the nick of time for the Raikou event. And uh, I'm going to mispronounce this one, uh, JR Pikachu? Probably horribly mispronounced that. I apologize because I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm sorry because I am almost positive I mispronounced that one. And Kristen Molly also coming in at level five. All three perfect timing for the event with six small handy candies to go along with it. Mm. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Fantastic. All right. So let's go ahead and back out. Let's collect from our helpers. Uh, I definitely need corn because somehow between the two of you the corn has not been flowing as of yesterday i was looking at how much corn we have stocked up we have tons of sausage but our corn supplies are running a bit low we also have plenty of milk and cocoa now so probably going to switch out um for some more ingredients and then halfway through the day for some different ingredients i mean and then halfway through the day swap into the rest of our electric team. I'm not really worried about getting Raiko on the team necessarily if I if I need a slot for more ingredients. I don't need Raiko on the team because it's fast enough that it will fill up over the course of the night anyway. Um, but yeah, see only 37 corn and I had both Beware and Dragonair on the team the entire day yesterday. They've been on the team for over 24 hours at this point because when I recorded yesterday's video it was uh it was earlier than this so let's see what do we need that would be beneficial it, hmm I okay so let's see I think we're pretty well covered on curries if we if we could have got Actually, no, we still have tomorrow. We could get two more sleep styles tomorrow, which would be very nice if we could do that. Because that means that we could then increase our pot space. So we could make Dream Eater Butter Curry if we do that first thing tomorrow morning. 
um the rest we have almost enough you know what i might switch in gengar honestly because that would cover us with a grilled tail curry just as a backup spicy leak curry is good but we just don't have the leak production that we need to make it happen and limbercorn stew we have plenty so we're covered on curries for salads, we um we have enough actually for the slowpoke tail pepper salad, so we can make that first thing in the morning if need be, and then move on from there. It does look like putting Gengar on the team to get some herbs and mushrooms is a good call, because that would also cover us on a spore mushroom salad if need be. Uh, but we do have enough for the slowpoke salad, so we definitely go for that one first. Um, uh, and then, so we're covered on curries and salads for desserts. We actually, no, we're covered on everything. We don't really need much of anything else. We have enough for the explosion popcorn, uh, which is what we're going to do over the lovely kiss smoothie. The, what else? Um, if we get the two sleep styles, then Jigglypuff's fruity flan is on the table. We don't have enough for that because we don't have the apples or the honey or the eggs. So we have nothing we need for that, but it is something we could go for, but we're covered on explosion popcorn. So yeah, we are actually pretty good. So that's good. That tells me exactly what we need to do for this team. And we are going to... We're going to swap out. I kind of talked about yesterday what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and switch to our green grass team. Uh, we're going to put, I guess we can go ahead and put Raichu on the team. Kind of no reason not to. Uh, and then let's see, let's sort by electric types. We're going to go ahead and throw you on the team. Uh, actually, just to see if it's going to happen. We're going to throw Dedene on the team today, and I'm going to just see if I can get his skill to trigger. If it does, see, do we need you at level 25? I don't think you had skill trigger at 25, do you? No, ingredient finder. Yeah, so we're just going to see. I mean, every little bit will help going forward tomorrow. So it gives me something to do in the game today while I let the others stock up. You, I'm not going to collect from you because I want your skill to trigger tomorrow. I'm going to let Dedene, I'm going to try to collect from Dedene and see if I can get a skill trigger from him. So far, that's the only one I'll collect from today. And then another electric type. Um, oof, that's actually, mm, no, this one actually outperforms the shiny. When I did my comparison analysis between these, uh, this Pikachu and my shiny Pikachu, even though the shiny Pikachu has a higher PR for berry collecting, this one, because of its base frequency, actually outperforms it by a little bit. It's not a lot. I think it's like maybe 5% better at best, but it did outperform. So actually, hold on. The question is, I think I put them both at level 25 when I compared them. I did. Yeah. So. Out of the two of them, this one outperforms the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this one on the team as well. Um, don't need to worry about leveling it up because since I am going to leave his inventory full the entire day, it'll still be full in the morning. No need to try to power or uh, lower the frequency. And then you, I think I'm just going to leave Sylveon on the team for now. I know I talked about yesterday putting the Growlithe on the team, maybe even evolving it to an Arcanine uh just to get the extra helpful i don't know that it's really going to make a difference it could make some difference but i don't think it's going to make much uh the one thing i need to check on it though i do want to check just to see uh ooh, sort of the wrong way there we go where are you buddy there you are helping speed s see at level two what does that give us at level two it's times five right now, and I'm only going to use Arcanine for today. So I think some people might have uh, misunderstood me talking about using Arcanine for the whole week. That is not the plan. The plan is to only use them for today just to stock up some extra berries over what they would normally get. Um, where are we at? Uh, extra helpful. Let's see. At level two, extra helpful is times six. 
and then at level three it's times seven so it's not really worth using a main skill seed for but it may you know what this is a week of experimentation so let's see we're gonna I do want to invest in this arc or this Growlithe anyway because it is very good um, yeah we're gonna try it we are gonna try we do have a firestone I'm not worried about spending it uh, we can get another one eventually whenever we do uh, get ready to evolve the Flareon which we still don't have a good candidate for plus we got the Entei event coming which since we're getting access to a Thunderstone through the Raikou event we're almost certainly gonna get access to a Firestone for Entei and a Waterstone from Suicune's event by extension so I'm not worried about it we'll get another one later down the road uh, for now the only thing I would be concerned about and I don't know that I want to put this level of investment in right now is just getting this guy to level 25 for the helping speed it is very nice potentially worth a sub skill seed investment to get him helping speed M but at 99 PR can't really get much better anyway so I don't really know uh, if it's worth the investment simply to try to get more skill triggers but at the very least we have a full electric team and you can tell by the fact that they're all orange and yellow which means they're all electric so we got a full electric team you know so we're gonna use this team um, and we're gonna see I'm gonna collect from Dedenne and Arcanine those two skill triggers should help us get a very good jump start if they trigger frequently i know arcanine is probably going to trigger way more than dedene but they should help get us a jump start the raichu and the pikachu and ampharos all have charge strength so as long as they have a um, a skill trigger in the morning that'll give us another boost of strength that's just added right on top of it plus the berries they bring in so i think that's how we're going to start and then tomorrow morning we'll switch up the team a little bit just to be a little more in line with the long-term plan but for now this is just a short-term goal i did get oh what did i get i got a medal what for oh 11 000, 11 000 candies used to level up pokemon who did i level up i didn't level up anybody did i no, I just evolved Growlithe, but hey, I'll take two small ingredient tickets. Um, I know I said I was going to put Gengar on the team for the extra ingredients, but honestly, with how covered we are on everything, I'm not even worried about it. We, I mean, the curries, maybe, but that's not even going to be a problem. So, eh, it is what it is. Uh, before we part for today... I did want to mention a couple of things that have happened. Uh, let me go ahead and switch over so I can show you guys. Uh, I've noticed for the last few days that in the sleep style probability, and again, this is a premium access feature, uh, but it's also in the sleep style lookup feature as well. The drowsy power requirement is showing uh, NAN. I forget exactly what that means in programming speak, uh, but essentially not applicable or something like that but it's showing NAN, which means that when you try to run a calculation, it just can't because it doesn't have the number to run the calculation against. Uh, this apparently, according to, uh, I think it was Raynon that actually said it, the developer for the site. Uh, let me find the exact post. Uh, yes, it was Raynon. The apparently some of the drowsy power requirements were changed in the last update. And so they've just dis disabled the drowsy power requirement feature on the website until they can get more accurate information um if i've understood correctly what they're saying um so it may be down for a little while but we will get it back eventually once they get better information to be able to give us accurate results whenever we calculate things uh there is also on the rain on, rain on site which this is for everybody not just premium uh, they have changed the settings tab or the settings page to where it all is under tabs now So you have energy cooking map bonus multiplier event bonus and app info event bonus is really good There's a bunch of options here whenever the event goes live this will update or not just the event for Ryko Whenever future events go live the site will automatically update with the uh, modifiers for the event So you don't have to do that 
But for example, if you wanted to come in here today and you wanted to see what it would be like if you were running the event, you can go ahead and set berry count to custom, change it to, you know, plus one, plus two, whatever. Same with ingredient count, you can custom, only electrics, plus two, whatever you want to do and you can mess around. And if you really want to dig deep, see what things are going to look like moving forward for future events. You also, speaking of the Entei and Raikou events, you could come in and say, hey, you know, let's say for the Entei event, they're going to give us, you know, plus three berry counts on fire types and then run into team analysis and all that and do whatever calculations you want to do and go from there. So that is what has changed here. I wanted to bring your attention to that just so that you were aware. And I believe there was one other change that I wanted to mention. Uh, yes, team analysis. So the team analysis page now can support the Ryko's main skill whenever you plug Ryko into a team. Uh, it is not 100% yet. They did say that they're running on some uh, assumptive numbers, but they will refine it as they find more accurate information but I'm assuming they feel like the assumptive numbers are close enough to what it's expected to be that it, they could actually make it live. So that is there. I'm not gonna be using it. I'll figure it out once we actually get the proper numbers. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but for people who do wanna dig into it, it is there and it is available for you. That said, there was a lot of information to talk about from the drowsy power requirement all the way to the bug fixes, and plans for tomorrow and strategies moving forward. Um, let me make sure that I did get all of the strategies. There was, uh, let's see. Yeah, do not open. That was the big tip that I saw today was not to open your community reports for the rest of the day and just wait until tomorrow just to try to max out as many possible mains, uh, Ryko mains as you can. Uh, so. Also, send out electric sleep type photos. That was the other one. So those two were the big tips that I saw today. I'm not sure how helpful they will be, but even if it's a little bit helpful, it all adds up. That said, that is all I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to have a wonderful day, and until next time, later dudes.